Italy by Esmeralda, Sasha, Jalen, and Yeliana. Hello, my name is David. I was sculpted by Michelangelo from 1501 to 1504. I'm going to take you on a journey with me and my gondola. Gondolas are used in the canals of Venice, but today we are going to some of my favorite parts of Italy. First, let's go down to one of the most creative provinces around, Lombardia. Milan is the biggest city in Lombardia, also fashion capital of the world, home to beautiful clothes and beautiful people. Our next stop is Piemonte and Valle d'Aosta. Piemonte is, the most fa is famously known for its medieval castles and the residents who stay there, like kings and queens. And if you want to go hiking on my gondola, we can go straight to Valle d'Aosta, where there are the highest mountains in Europe. But before we completely destroy my trusty gondola, let's go somewhere where my gondola is safe. And that's Veneto. Phew! Good thing the capital is Venice and also nicknamed the floating city. In Venice, gondolas are one of the main transportations because the entire city is engulfed by 16 feet of water. Now it's time for me to switch out my gondola for a Ferrari because we are going to Emilia Romana, the center for Italian automobile production like Ferrari, Lamborghini, Maserati, Pagani, De Tommaso, Ducati, the list goes on and on. We have arrived in Tuscany. Tuscany is known for its beautiful landscape countryside and old-fashioned Italian traditions. A grand place in Tuscany to visit is the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Hello. And, the, and last but not least, we travel to Lazio, where there are some of the most recognized places in Italy. You can go to the Colosseum and see where the Roman, get, where the Roman gladiators would fight. And you could also go to the Park of Monsters, where the biggest and baddest creatures of Italy live. Overall, Italy is a beautiful country. It is never a country to disappoint. Now, after all that traveling, I could go for a slice of good Italian pizza. Ciao!